Hi, this is Johan from Minerva. Today's presentation is a technical video about how to uh, build a reverse relationship based on a relationship made with a property. Because uh, in RS Innovator, you have two types of relationships. You either do an uh, end to end relationship, you can build this relationship between two item types through a relationship type, or if you just need a, a one to n relationship, you can use the property which is of type item to call an I on a, another item type. So the case we have is in an instance we have from the VRS website, we have the project uh, which are calling a customer through a property. So the project is an item type um, and it has a property of type item which is customer. So what we want from that is to reverse uh, somehow the query uh, to get all the projects that are calling one customer. So we want, for now we don't have this in customer, we just have in pro the project form a link to uh, get the to define who is the customer. So if I go in RS Innovator, uh, so this data model is the demo um, system that is available on the RS website. So I look for projects. If I open a project, you can see here that there is a customer defined for this project. And if I go in the customer definition, I don't know if there is other there are other projects in which in this customer is involved. I could see it through the um, the where used uh, feature, but it is not, we, we may want to see um, all the properties that you can see from a project. So what we do, we will implement a reverse relationship. And this is based on um, an HTML page that was provided in RS Innovator 9.3 that we have to call from the customer uh, item type. So I go in the customer item type. So as I am an admin, I can change that to a customer. So I will, in order to add a tab, I will add a relationship, customer related, because I'm not calling another item type. I will call it customer projects, and the tab will be called projects. We save this. I will then customize the relationship. So you go on the relationship view, create a new relationship. It asks you for whom it will be available, so it will be available for maybe for world. The start page, so that's something that is provided in the documentation. So since RS Innovator 9.3, they added a, a file in, um, which is on your server. Uh, so it's in slash um, solutions slash plm slash scripts and the name of the file which is reverse items 3.html then you have uh, some properties to enter um, so first you have the it name which will be provided by um, the object that is calling this relationship so it will be customer so you don't have to fill this in you will take it Automatically, just type item type name. Then you add another pro uh, another uh, parameter, which is the item ID. Same thing; it will be provided automatically by RS Innovator um, as you put this information in item ID. And then you have the some other parameters that you have to where you have to put the exact value. So reverse it name. This will be um, projects. 
um, and finally the reverse uh, property name. So this will be the property name in the item type project which is calling customer in this uh, customer. So reverse property name equal um, customer. I just want to check if I run everything well. So item type, item ID. Plus, so it should work. Um, then I just have to save this relationship. This, uh, yeah, this relationship type. So I see the relationship type, and then I can go directly to the customer form, and I should see my new uh, tab. So let's say customer. If I entered everything well, I should get all the projects that are. Um, let's see, there's a mistake here. Work with index. Okay, so that's because there's. There must be um, some characters missing. I will just get back to relationship. Edit my relationship. Okay, there's there's something missing here. This index. Then I'll see the project. Um, if there are, let's see if this one has more projects needed. The project in this one. So, yeah. so that's um, uh, an easy way to build reverse relationship for that um, with, and it is available already when you have installed RS Innovator uh, if you want more information about the parameters and the style that you've got to enter I will put this on the blog